That is... He's cute, isn't that he? That is a little legend. I don't know if we should take him to Grenada or not. No, but we can't throw him in the water. Maybe we should put him on a little Coke bottle or something. Oh, yeah. No, but then we're littering. I don't know what the right decision is here. Littering is better than introducing to me. I don't know. So as soon as we leave port or an anchorage, um, Riley's usually captain and I do all the deckhand work, so I put away all the ropes and the fenders. And the fenders that don't fit, they go inside. So these ones go in the spare room. And there's a few other things i got to do. I check these covers and make sure all the locks are done up on them. Something might fling open and fly everywhere. All the doors are shut, all the windows are shut, and we're ready to go sailing. Now when we're all in the clear to hoist the sails, that's what we do together as a team. So that's what we're going to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> decided to leave Trinidad and start the first leg of our journey heading west. First we had to stop in at Grenada to pick up a part, then we were Venezuela bound, heading for the famed island of Los Roques. Alright, so what's the deal with pirates? There aren't any. There's no like organised piracy or anything like that. All that there is, is a small chance that your craft, your vessel might get boarded the same as there would be in Australia or America. To avoid the chances of that, what we did was we went from Trinidad up north to Grenada and then we took a highish route out of the way of all of the fishermen that are protecting their area from different sorts of places and also there's obviously a fair bit of drug traffic going through there as well as they're trying to get it all north. So you just stay away from all that sort of stuff and you're as safe as houses. Finally got some true wind, which is 17 knots, that's what the weatherman said, so uh, yeah, we've set up for the afternoon and we're sitting at about 6.2 knots. It's finally calmed down enough to do a bit of uh, filming. We left Trinidad and there was just squall after squall after squall, and so it's just calmed down now to about oh, maybe 18 knots, but it's we've just had, we've had the storm sail out. It's just been, it's been ridiculous. Elena's just having a bit of a kip and we're headed back to Grenada. <laughs> we've got to pick up some stuff that we, uh, that we left there, so. Yes, I'm actually just, I don't know, trying to entertain myself. I'm gonna burn my eye out with this red light. All right, I'll probably, I'll probably do something like this again a bit later. in Grenada, launched the tender and drove into the marina to pick up our new boat ignition. We installed it that day and we left in a big hurry for our three day sail to Venezuela. Just jumped out of the shower and uh, we're ready to leave to Venezuela. We have to leave now otherwise the weather will get really bad uh, as of Monday night so we want to get there by Sunday night, the latest Sunday afternoon. Uh be honest, what, what's happening? Today has just been a big rush, so... You're we, a little bit... I'm stressed out, we need to go right now, so I'm just saying sorry because this, the start of this episode is... Uh, no, no, but... doesn't really exist because we've been so rushed, so... Be more honest, why are you, why are you stressed? I haven't had time to do anything, you know, like I've just had to stash away everything. I usually make coffees and prepare food, it's a two day sale, so... We can't it's, but it's the first big sale that you've had in a while? Uh, I'm not a little kid, I'm not nervous about that. I'm just, I wanted to be prepared. I just, I was lucky enough to be able to wash my hair. Yeah, so we're racing against weather, things are a bit heated. Yeah, and you know, nothing's ready for the next two days, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. When you're unprepared to leave, you make stupid mistakes like this. Leaving the dishwashing liquid out for it to drain 
all over and through the sink. Mistake number one. We threw out a tiny little bit of head sail and we were pretty well flying along with 20 to 25 knots for most of the night. Uh, things were pretty easy though because we were heading with it. Hello there darling. Hello. How you going? Drinking a cup of tea and I'm sitting down for a few seconds. Feels nice. Calmed down a bit, have you? I've calmed down a little bit, yes. <laughs> no, I... We should point out that it really isn't uh, quite as easy as we perhaps make out, is it? There's some Not very, all the time. very stressful times, and uh, a lot of it isn't caught on camera. But yeah. before we were leaving, I was packing away all the groceries, and they're all in the wrong places, and nothing's organised, and it's just like I don't like being unorganised. But we're all right now, aren't we? Yeah, I'm fine. I got a pomegranate and green tea, and I'm happy as Larry. The wind's nice behind sail. us. Nice sail. We're headed 15 degrees off course, which is to be expected. We've had one squall. We've had one minor squall, and we're pretty happy. I think maybe another one pretty soon. A quick and easy dinner when the weather's this bad. I've just thrown a heap of uh, tin food together: lentils, chickpeas, some vegetables, and some of the spices that we picked in Trinidad the other day so and it tastes pretty good it is amazing what you can do with tin food so in the first 24 hours we must have had eight to ten squalls. One of them in particular was pretty memorable. It's the windiest conditions I've been in, I think. Uh, it was well over 40 knots and a uh, bit disappointed we didn't get a whole bunch of footage of it, but we were at a uh, battle stations there for a while. What's going on, hot stuff? I like it. It's on my favorite drill. What are you doing? Can you throw me a knife, please? Sharp one or the fish one? The fish one. Yeah. No, the fish. Oh, sorry, the sharp one. This is one. your new favorite one. Okay. Oh. I can't get anything right, can I? Oh! <laughs> Fortunately, I found these in our little kit from last year. And we're going to have a bit of a fish. What about the other rod? Are you going to do that one? No, it's broken. The other rod? We went underwater fishing with it. Remember? Well, how is it? You didn't break it's it. It's rusty. Oh. It's, no, it's gone. It's dead. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, it was dead anyway. That scene really cost you, didn't it, darling? It was. Bloody hell. It did. So you can't fix it. It's just completely rusted. It's gone. I'm going to go have a look. Hello. Yeah? Is this Alfred? No, that's not Alfred. You gave that one away. Tell me how. This is the damage to the real we used for the loophole scene. Checking it out for the first time. Must be at least a close relative. It's not Alfred, you gave him away. Come and have a look. Seems to be completely jammed up, look at that. Alfred! It is! Yeah. I was certain you gave him away. Well he's torn his skirt. How embarrassing. What are we doing, Ali? We're watching Rick and Morty. Moss from Cedar gave it to us. Yeah. Cheers, Moss. We're Love about to mind. watch our first episode. I've made myself a cup of tea and I'm going to sit down and take a break. Oh no! He's going to tamper with it and turn into like a robot. 
The weather calmed down even more as the sun was setting and we made the most of it while it lasted. Alona? Yes? You fishing? Yeah, we just turned on the motor because the sun's setting um, and that's a good time to have the trolling line out so hopefully a fish comes and eats it and we have some dinner. There's also a big squall coming so we're gonna put the camera away in a second. Wow! What are we looking at, Cap? Well, another squall. So I'm just gonna... I think I might just fill that head sail in a bit and go inside. Hopefully no one can notice. Elaine is holding on to the tripod with her foot down. I have to, it's really rolly. So I just had a bit of a look at the prices for Venezuela and so we're going to Los Roques. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. Port clearance in and out, $2 per foot. So that's $80 in, $80 out, US. Mm. Customs and immigration. Oh, save. That was the most amazing <laughs> catch ever. Oh my gosh. Wow. We nearly broke our camera. Alright. Guys, you're just gonna have to suck it up. No wide angle here. I'm holding it with my hands now. Anyway. Customs and integration, $40 per person. So that's 80, 160. Florin Foreign flag vessel Venezuelan visa, $2.50 per foot. And then there's an anchoring and mooring cruising permit, which is $7 per foot. So we're really, I've only just opened my laptop and had a look at it. So yeah. we're wondering about whether we'll even go. Yeah. That's... Like we heard from some locals, we met a guy in Grenada who used to run uh, fishing charters and charters in, in Los Rocas. And he said it was beautiful and we should go. And he did say it was a bit expensive, but we just thought, you know, like groceries and maybe the entry fee, but this is going to end up costing us how much? I don't know. I haven't a added lot. that, but it's a lot. So we're wondering, we don't really know if we're going to go now. We're thinking of going straight to Bonaire, the ABC Islands. But the other thing is we might be arriving during the night, which is another reason which might make us just push on that little bit further to go to Bonaire. Mm, but we'll see. Next week on uh, Sailing Le Vagabond. We arrive in Los Roques and we go and check in, which turns out to be a lot cheaper than what we first thought, but it was a lot sketchier. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. We wanted to say thank you to everyone, and in particular our patrons, and the only way that we could is to start inviting some people on board. We're really happy to be back on board the Vagabond and for the sails ahead and we're super excited to have some of you guys on board. So can Raymond Stone and Hector Benilla, who are our two most loyal patrons today, can you get in touch with us guys because we would love to have you on board. So for the next one that we do, it's going to sort of be names in a hat. If you put in one dollar you get one chance, if you put in two dollars you get two chances and we're going to sort of try and organise it like that. Once again, thanks a lot uh, for your love and support and your positive energy. You guys got us here so big thank you to you guys and Merry Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas everyone, have a ripper day.